Hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. Have a request today from Juso. Juso was asking how to trigger a door with a laser detector and have that door close but not open again. This is the uh, basic scenario for a trap based door. You want someone to be able to enter but not leave. Uh, the best way to do this uh, is with a memory cell. It's a fantastic example of how the memory cell works, in fact. So, if you've worked with uh, door controllers, you know that when you power them, they open the door. Uh, you cannot pair to a door while it's locked, so I need to unlock this, and then pair the door, and then lock it again. And on the wall here, I drop the laser detector. Now if I bring down some power here, and then I put the power out to the door, anytime I cross that beam, the door will open. Now, this is a problem because then someone will come into your base, the door will close, and then they can open it right up again. You don't want them to leave, so this is a terrible uh, wiring schematic for this. Instead, this is the best use of the memory cell. The memory cell is a uh, one-bit storage device. It has a state of zero by default and a state of one when you hit the set input. When it's in state zero, it puts all of its power out of the inverted output. When it's in state one, it puts its power out of the output. So this is very useful in this scenario because what we can do is take the power that we're bringing in and attach it to this door. And you'll see now the door is powered, so it's open. And uh, it's in state zero indicated by one green and one red light and all the power is going out the inverted output now what we're going to do is attach the output of the laser instead of to the door we're going to attach it to the set on the memory cell so when you break the beam of the laser it's going to change from state zero to state one you'll see two green lights the power will switch from inverted to the regular output, which will cut the power to the door. That makes the door close and stay closed because no matter how many times you trigger this laser, it just keeps changing the memory cell to state one, which it's already in. So the person stuck in the room can't trigger this to open the door anymore and they are now effectively trapped in this room. I will demonstrate by being a victim who haplessly walks through the door, hits the laser, door closes because we set the memory cell, cut the power to the door. We're in state one, the power is going out of the output, and now, no matter how many times I cross this beam, uh, this door is not going to open uh, unless I have permission to open the door. And so now I am trapped. If you're using this to make a trap base, you will note that while you are in state one, the power is here. So you could take this power, wire it to a door over here with a bunch of guns behind it. And when they change state on the memory cell, it will close this door and open the door attached to the output. Which would be great, because that'll blow them to smithereens. Also, if you're making a trap base, you need some way to reset the scenario by changing the memory cell back to state zero. You do that by applying power to the reset handle. The easiest way to do that would be to place a switch in a control room or back room where you are hiding and then run power through this switch to the reset handle and after the person has entered and been blown up and you have collected their loot you go back to your control room you send power to the reset input and now the guns door would close the outside door would open and the trap is now reset for the next idiot 
to come in, lock the door, and get blown to smithereens. So, Chuso, I hope that is the question you are asking or the scenario you were looking for. And if it is, then have fun trapping, killing, and looting people for all their best swag. Enjoy. Enjoy.